Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I would like to divulge to you one of my favorite methods for creating beautiful chords without much effort. And it has to do with the brilliance of the standard tuning. The standard tuning is an ingenious, ingenious invention because it enables us to move the same shapes around and pretty much get the same results. <laughs> Okay? But we can also use this method to create really complex and brilliant chords without much effort. So if, for example, we take A major 7, okay? A major 7, 2, 1, 2 on strings 2, 3, and 4. Right? 2, 1, 2 on strings 2, 3, and 4. And do it with these fingers, okay? Leave the first finger open. Okay? So... If we move it to 7 and we have 7-6-7, seven, seven, we get another A chord. We get A-13 or A-6. Okay, so if we play A major 7 and move it from 2 to 7, okay, back and forth. get two expressions of pretty much the same A chord with different ext extensions. So if we take the four finger and use it to, to play the high A every now and then, we can create brilliant expressions. to take it to five instead, okay, we have five, four, five. This is now A9. This is A9. And if we add the three on the first string, then it's a really interesting chord. It's an A9 chord. Instead of playing A9 here, you have an A9 right here and you can use it as an ending chord to a blues in A That's not all. If you take it to 10, it becomes A minor. Okay? 10, 9, 10. And you can use your forefinger on 8. It's all the same shape. Okay, you can do 7, 8 on the first string. you move between 2 and 7, you can move between 10 and 5. same shape it's nearly effortless okay all you have to think about is the rhythm now you can also you can also take it to nine and then you have E major seven uh, yeah E major seven so you can use E and then it's pretty much the same idea okay you can take it to 12 Take it to 14. 
Okay, and you can use the A and E uh, bass notes for all of these shapes and see what you get. And that's just one shape. So let's take another shape. Okay, another major seven shape before we complicate things. Okay, six and six on strings three and four. That's it, six and six. If we take it to seven, then we get A sus four. And it's actually A sus four add nine because we have the open second string. So we have seven and six. You can do four and four, and then you have A six nine. If you do it on five, you get A minor, A minor seven. Let's see what happens when we do three. We get a really interesting flat nine sound. We can do nine and nine. We can do twelve. It's really easy to just move shapes around. You just have to keep your ears open. Now, another shape can be this shape. Now, this is an A flat 13 chord. It's six, six, five on strings two, three, and four. And if you move it one fret down, you get D9 over A. If you take it one more fret down, it's a really interesting augmented... It has both the augmented and the diminished sounds in it. On two two one, you get A flat five. This is an interesting sound. It's not for everybody, but it's an interesting sound. I personally like weird chords, so it suits my um, it suits my taste. can try the seventh sound if you want okay the seventh sound would be uh, let's say seven five seven and you start from D7 over a and you move it around but one really interesting chord that I found is this okay it's five six four on strings, on strings two, three, and four, okay? Five, six, four. This works with A. This is A6. If you move it two frets up to seven, eight, uh, to seven, eight, uh, six, and you use the E bass, you get an interesting E9 major seven. Try 
moving around. But you're gonna get weird results. around and um, I already showed you this before with the space chord hey I have made a lesson using this technique and I called it space chord so you can try that as well uh, this is a brilliant technique um, just moving one shape around can produce so many different chords uh, so try it yourself and I will see you in the next video thank you very much for watching bye for now enjoy <laughs>